So here I am, I've done uh, six of the petals so far. Um, it does look a little bit funny at the moment, but when we fix it up it won't. Uh, we'll do the last one together quickly. So here's our chain, uh, sorry, uh, chain 10 loop. And we move from one petal to the other by, instead of slip stitching, just a single crochet. And a half double crochet. Eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and we chain two can see and then we work backwards so it would be eight double crochets here and then half double crochet and a single crochet US turns so let's begin with our crochet double crochets it's one two three four five If you think your space is getting smaller, just tuck on it a little bit. Seven and eight and a half double crochet and then a single crochet. And to complete this, we just do a slip stitch right into this little loop here. Oops. There we go. And then we fasten off, which I'll do in a second. So and once we've done that and fastened it off, which I'm going to weave in my ends, and we sort of put the petals behind each other, and this is how it turns out. There's your crocodile stitch flower. I would advise adding a button right here just to make it look pretty and you can go over it with another colour yarn like I have done in this one just to make it look different I do see that that looks funny but I'm going to add a button I just wanted to secure it onto the headband If you are interested, please let me know if you would like to learn how to crochet this lovely thick snood, we call it in England. It looks like it's been knitted, but it has been crocheted. Thanks for watching.